Good afternoon, class. Much like your standard big pen, this video comes to you in three parts. You got before, you got during, you got after. Let's just start it before. Starting back in 2018, when I first heard about Senior Seminar, my first idea for a project was to replace all of the furniture in my room with furniture that I built. Now that's not such a monumental task for me, because I already built this desk, built that small cabinet, built that pen holder, and I built this table. Now carpentry is something that I really enjoy doing, but I seldom have enough time for it, given school and work. I originally thought that Senior Seminar would be great, because I could just do what I love doing, and get school credit for it. But Miss McMain shot the idea down saying, it's hard to do a project in which you build a bunch of shelves. So then I turned my attention to environmental science related internships, because environmental science is something that I hope to pursue after graduation. But given that we started searching for internships in the winter time, and most environmental science internships are seasonal, like not during the winter time, not many places were looking for interns. After emailing some more people that I knew, and it going nowhere, I thought to myself, well, I did just spend all of last semester writing a research paper for Senior Colloquium on YouTube, so maybe I could start a YouTube channel. So then I started a YouTube channel. And now because this final project requires a work cited page, a brief history of YouTube. In 2004, Chad Hurley, Steve Chin, Jawad Karim all met as co-workers at PayPal where they saw the potential for an online video sharing platform. Side note, they were originally looking for Janet Jackson's 2004 wardrobe malfunction at the Super Bowl, and when they couldn't find it, they had the idea for YouTube. In 2005, the trio registered the domain YouTube.com, and that same year that Jawad Karim released the first YouTube video titled Me at the Zoo. To conclude this brief, brief history of YouTube, in 2005, YouTube hit its first 1 million view video, and it was a Nike advertisement. Anyway. Back to your regularly scheduled during. Now before I tell you about my experience starting a YouTube channel, you may be asking, why does this guy even want to start a YouTube channel in the first place? I'll tell you, fellow hat wearer. I, like many of you, grew up with YouTube in my life for as long as I can remember, pretty much. And I remember growing up with creators like John and Hank Green and Equals 3. Equals 3. I just remember watching very smart, funny content that was available to anyone that anyone could pretty much make themselves too, because it was just people in their room talking to a camera. As I grew up, the creators that I loved grew up, and YouTube started being their job. And as I saw that happening, I was like, hey, that's something that I can do. I mean, after all, YouTube is YouTube, and you're supposed to broadcast yourself. So I started a YouTube channel. Before the semester, I had literally zero experience filmmaking, I had never touched a camera, never used any editing software, have no clue what editing software I'd use. After a video or two, I feel a little bit more comfortable. Something that I learned very quickly making videos is that it's so awkward to talk to a camera. Just sitting in a room by yourself kind of feels unnatural. It looks really easy when you see professional vloggers doing it, but it's kind of hard. It's a very self-conscious process. You think a lot about who's watching it, what are they going to think about you. Am I weird? The answer is, of course, I'm weird. But somebody like PewDiePie started out making really odd videos, and now he's got almost a billion subscribers. So, you know, gotta start somewhere. You know, just like PewDiePie, my first video, honestly, kind of... Uh, second video, exponentially, like, probably like here, you know? Let me draw it out. Let me just, uh... Whip these things away here. So, look at this graph. On the y-axis, we've got video quality. On the x-axis, we've got time. Now, it's an exponential curve, yeah? So, it's gonna start pretty low. You know, as time goes on, your videos get better. But it's really more of a dot graph. So, you know, we got a few, you know, video quality goes up and down. But in general, as a creator gets better and better, their video quality gets better and better. Now, uh, my first video, probably like, probably like that, right, right around there. Second video, a little bit better. Third video, 
you know, we'll never know. I haven't finished it yet. But, uh, this is not why you subscribe. This is why you subscribe. People love watching your creator grow. Now, for that reason, subscribe. Now, obviously, obviously, I'm towards the lower half of this exponential graph, but anytime it reluctantly comes up that I have a YouTube channel, someone always asks me, what's your YouTube channel about? And I say something along the lines of, well, right now it's just preliminary videos, like why I wanted to start a YouTube channel, my favorite YouTubers, and now a third, a final project that I had to do for the class why I started YouTube. But hopefully, eventually, I'll be more of a parody channel. Now when I say parody, I mean someone that takes a certain YouTuber and kind of mimics their editing style, camera work, and just mannerisms and content that they do that makes them themselves and remake a video where it's obviously me not exactly making fun of them but you know just like poking fun sometimes and hopefully that'll help me like piggyback off of some of their subscribers which is kind of dirty but you know it's a cutthroat game in YouTube it'll also help me uh, prevent YouTuber burnout which if you've watched YouTube in 2019 you'd know that YouTuber burnout is a widespread phenomenon and I think that making diverse videos like that would you know prevent me from getting stuck in the proverbial rut. Some YouTuber things that have already been referenced in this video. The opening shot is a John Green reference. He opens up a lot of his videos like that. The second one is a technicality reference. The side note. The third one is probably going on right now. Can you, can you shut up when you're coming up the stairs? You know I'm recording. Oh, sorry. Damn. Some people. I was thinking about doing a Casey Neistat reference. But I don't think I will. But anyway. <sighs> On to the after. Originally, I was going to have a whole shot here where I went out to Best Buy and got a camera just to show how dedicated to YouTube I am. But I got a really expensive bike instead. So that won't be happening. But I am really dedicated to making YouTube videos. It's something that's really fun that I genuinely enjoy doing. I feel like it's worth the time to try and get better at it. I've always been a maker, whether it's carpentry or YouTube videos. It's just something that I find very satisfying to see a final product, even if it's not great. I also wanna make more videos. I've got a lot of ideas for videos that have just been flown around in my head. And I kinda like getting ideas out there. Some ideas that I've had for videos are like, things you can do for the environment. Subway video, I work at a subway in case you didn't know. Um, those are the main ones that have been kicking around in my head. So if you got ideas, let me know. It's also just fun to be a part of a community. Being a YouTuber means that I'm a YouTuber, which is kind of cool. Um, I mean, obviously I'm not a huge creator, but you know, time. To wrap it up, uh, I think you should subscribe for the, you know, better part of me being a YouTuber. Uh, subscribe before I blow up. Seriously, you got like five seconds. <laughs>